Jeff Hoffman here from the Storm Center with an update on the tropics. We have a new system developing just offshore of Florida, soon to become Tropical Storm Irma. It's not a significant threat to our state, but it will brush by the Carolinas. Of course, I'm watching Harvey, and there is the potential for some of the moisture from the system to move in the direction of Florida. I'll show you that in just a minute. And in about four or five days from now, a tropical wave moving off the coast of Africa could develop in the central Atlantic. We'll spend most of our time on this departing system, soon to be named Irma. A tropical storm watches in effect for the coastal Carolinas. It will quickly move out to sea and really leave most folks alone. But there is this fetch of moisture coming in off the Gulf, a trailing southwest flow here. It has already been a soggy three or four days from Tampa to Fort Myers. The axis of heavy rain shifts into the Tampa metro area right up by four through Tuesday. Then by Wednesday and Thursday, we get a break. We're kind of in between weather systems. Pretty nice weather statewide. But the moisture from Harvey, yes, a trailing swath of moisture will move into the panhandle and much of North Florida as we move into Saturday and Sunday. So a heads up there as we approach the next weekend. Over the next three days, though, look at the heavy rain. There could be some flooding concern and there likely will be along the rivers uh, just inland from Tampa. We've got about six rivers expected to exceed their flood stage in the next two or three days and localized flooding possible during the heaviest downpours, adding up to two to three inches up along I-4 toward Orlando and even some heavier showers moving up toward Daytona Monday into Tuesday morning. It's also going to be unsettled along the coast. Now the tropical storm force winds are noted there in yellow. They stay well offshore, but there'll be this northeasterly wind that will gust at times to 25 from Jacksonville down to Daytona. Certainly not the best of beach weeks. And boaters be aware there'll be some choppy seas there for a couple of days and an elevated rip current risk if you head to the beach there along the first coast. Here are the takeaways. Irma's developing, but it's moving away. Tropical storm Harvey's moisture could move in this weekend. I'll keep an eye on that. And we've got another wave in the Atlantic, but it wouldn't be a story until next week.